Home cured corned beef is nothing like the overly salty, bland corned beef you normally get when you buy it in a grocery store. It's also really easy to do at home, which is why I like to do it for special occasions like St. Patrick's Day. All it takes is a little bit of planning ahead of time because it does take several days to cure it. But outside of that, the process is really simple and you're going to be floored by how good the flavor turns out. I'm Jason Loxton from Amazing Food Made Easy, and today I'm going to show you how to cure your own corned beef. My recipe is based off Michael Ruhlman's recipe that I first read in Ratio. If you don't own Ratio, I highly recommend buying it. It's one of my favorite cookbooks. It's full of great explanations of how and why to cook specific things. It has my go-to pancake recipe, corned beef recipe, chicken stock recipe, and popover recipe. So it's got a wide variety of stuff and I highly recommend checking it out. Making corned beef is actually really easy. All you have to do is take a simple brine, salt, sugar, water, and a little bit of pink salt for corned beef, add a brisket to it, and let it soak for three to 10 days. Once it's been cured, you pat it off, and give it a good cook. That's all there is to it. In this recipe I call for pink salt, and that is not Himalayan pink salt. It's a specific kind of curing salt, and you can get it from butcherpacker.com. It's often called DQ curing salt, but it has nitrates in it, which help keep the meat red, even when you cook it to a higher temperature. The curing process itself can take anywhere from three to 10 days depending how strong you want the curing flavors to be and how much time you have to cure it. If you're on the tighter end, you can get away with even two to three days. I generally try to go three to four days, and some people really like a strong curing flavor, so they let it go eight to 10 days. There's a lot of variability, and you have a lot of control over how long you actually want to cure it for. You can use any cut of brisket you want, such as the flat or the point, or even an entire brisket if you're gonna make a lot of corned beef. You can also branch out and use different types of tough cuts of meat, normally ones that would traditionally be braised, such as short ribs, chuck roast, or even a flank steak. When you cure it, you can use any sort of big container to hold it, whether it's a big pot or a big pan, a big uh, serving dish, or you can use vacuum bags, which is what I tend to use because it's a little bit easier, a little bit easier to flip it over. Once it's been cured, you're going to want to wash off the outside a little bit before cooking it. Get sort of a little bit of the grittiness that can happen from all the herbs and spices that are in it. Corned beef does come out pretty salty. And depending on the method that you're going to actually cook the corned beef and your tolerance for salt, you might want to let it soak in some clean water for a few hours or even overnight to draw some of the salt back out of the corned beef. So the recipe itself combines the water, the salt, the sugar, and the pink salt along with all the seasonings in a big pot and bring it to a simmer, stirring it all the while until the salt and sugar dissolves completely. Take it off the heat and let it cool completely. Then you're gonna to wanna to put it in the refrigerator to finish cooling all the way down. And that's because when you put the brisket in there, you don't want it to be hot enough to have any bacterial growth. So you want the water to be already down to refrigerator temperatures. You want the brisket to be coming right out of the fridge so everything's nice and cold and you're not going to have any, any danger of bacterial contamination. Once the brine has been completely cooled, you want to put the brisket into a large container and then cover it completely with brine. If the brisket starts to float at all, you may have to weigh it down with something, or you can use a vacuum bag and you're going to ensure that there's no air in there. You're going to place it in the refrigerator and let it cure for three to ten days, depending how strong you want the cured flavor to be. You want to rotate it once or twice a day just to make sure it's curing evenly. Once it's been cured, Remove it from the brine, wash it off really well, then you're ready to cook it. There's lots of different ways you can cook it. My two favorites are using sous vide or using a pressure cooker, and I have recipes for both of those that I'll link up below. You can also cook it traditionally, which is generally braising it with some liquid, maybe some cabbage and some vegetables in it. There's lots of different methods you can use to actually cook it, but regardless of how you cook it, you now have some amazingly flavorful home-cured corned beef that's going to blow away your friends and family.